Hey guys, this is uh, my video where I decide to redesign Sylvanas Windrunner's model because uh, we're probably not going to see her again for a while, I hope. And this is not me trying to say that I am a... No, this is just me taking her story in a slightly different direction and redesigning the model to reflect that because I think it's fun. Uh, some of the inspiration I took for this redesign is Chris Metzen's art of Sylvanas, the sort of concept art, if you will. I really like it. The stitches, the undead look. Uh, another piece of artwork I took for inspiration is this one. It's sort of the traditional Sylvanas design we see in Wrath of the Lich King, except it's got this like half tap tabard piece of cloth hanging over the legs. I don't know what you officially call this, but I love it. Impractical long pieces of cloth waiting to trip up your legs. Yes, please. Uh, another thing is, I don't know if you guys remember the short story Edge of Night. It's a cool little Savannah story that ends up meaning uh, not a whole lot. Where the Valkyrie are like, hey, our boss is dead now. We're all women scorned by Arthas. How about uh, we team up, huh? And we take your place in uh, the super hell. And Sylvanas is just like, okay. <laughs> but uh, it turns out that's part of the Jailer's six-piece master plan. To defeat the Void Lords or something. I don't know. I stopped paying attention. But uh, in this short story, she has a very brief flashback to when she was a young archer. Just starting off. And it mentions that she's super vain. The reason why I bring this up is that the Forsaken Flags have pictures of her face on it. But it's not really exactly a picture of her face. It's almost like a broken porcelain mask. I really like it. It's also unfortunate that uh, Sylvanas was caught saying, problematic things and now the forsaken have to iron out her face on all their tabards and <laughs> flags like forsaken tailors must be making a buck right now because they have to change all of that it's like blizzard changing the women into fruit bowls just erase history destroy it if you must anyway the reason i mentioned all of that i've always wanted the forsaken leaders to look a bit more undead and i really like the idea of arthas taking half her face off whether it be by frostmore when she power slides into it or just sort of a residual effect of being undead i got a thing for characters that have a mask on and bandages hiding their horrific faces she wouldn't be like the other forsaken just letting it all hang loose i do think she'd put on a mask also in that dumb duel with sarfang where he's like oh for honor i, I don't remember why he was there uh instead of giving her a little itty baby skull <laughs> Instead of giving her a little bitty baby scar, uh, maybe this could be the point where we actually see that mask knocked off. Like in lore, if Sylvanas started off with this mask, then you see it's just a mess up forsaken face. It's like, oh, the real monster has been revealed. Oh, it, what, the real monster wasn't revealed when she burned down that tree, but now her mask is off and she's <laughs> shouting problematic things. Uh, yeah, that's how I would have. That's how I would have changed it. Or at least, you know, at that point she can wear half a mask. <laughs> oh, my cat sneezed. Hope I didn't pick it up. Could you not? <laughs> I also, unpopular opinion, I love her vanilla model. I mean, I don't know if this is a super unpopular opinion, but like, yes, I know she's technically a night elf, and this is probably why, for some reason, during the Legion model, they like made her have night elf markings, even though they're supposed to be tear marks. Like, guys, she's not a night elf. What are, what are these? They fix it later, so I don't know what they were doing with this. I, I don't know. But yeah, I love her vanilla model. I really like her chest piece, the sort of black skeleton design. I think it's my favorite plate chest piece from Vanilla WoW. So I started to incorporate it on the chest piece of this one. Sort of making the parts that almost look like ribs kind of stick out more. Also, once again, I hate how every time they update a Forsaken model, they make it look less Forsaken. Like every prominent leader of the Forsaken does not have a Forsaken model. Like I get Sylvana, she's a high elf, but w what are these other two? Callie and Thanos, awful. And nobody's showing even a hint of bone. Where's the bones, Blizzard? Why are these so perfectly preserved? And yes, I know they have a lore reason for why they're perfectly all preserved. There's a short story explaining why Nathanos looks the way he does. Uh, there's not a short story explaining why he's so annoying, though. And then a Callie has a reason. I, I don't care. I want a, I want a little bit of bone. But I'm a coward, so there's only a little bit of my redesign. Well, she's only showing a little bit of skin anyway. Use your imagination. She takes the boots off. They're probably bony feet. Let me know if you want me to redesign the Thanos, by the way. It, his model upsets me a lot. Not even the Thanos can use the Forsaken male model. Come on, it's a good model. Look at it. Why can't he use it? And why, and why can't he beat Tyrande in a fight? I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, there's also a lot of discussion, a lot of like sci-fi and fantasy media about boob plate. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so stupid. <laughs> but seriously, it's called a boob plate. And people really don't like these for some reason. I mean, I get why. They're like, it's an impractical armor choice. Sure, it is. But like, look at Garrosh. Garrosh has two giant shoulder pads that look like they weigh a school bus each. But no armor protecting his chest. Like, it's not practical, but it looks cool. It shows the savagery of the orcs. Half the time they're fighting giant spiky shoulder pads and little loincloths. Just makes sense, aesthetically. So, I don't really care about the boob plate. I'm, I'm adding a boob plate. Can't stop me. <laughs> I'm not going for a practical armor look here. I think a lot of practical armor sets look ugly. I don't think practical armor has to look ugly. I think a lot of times people get so focused on making armor seem more realistic that they forget that's also supposed to look cool. Like I think armor should look memorable before it looks practical. 
Just saying. Sort of like Captain Marvel. Unpopular opinion, back when she was Ms. Marvel, I could remember her outfit. Like, yes, is it impractical? Very much so. But you probably could have updated it without making it look like the Nutcracker. Like, I don't know how to describe this. It's just, I don't like it. They try to do the same thing with Sylvanas, where they kind of do this weird thing where they want to make her armor look more practical. So they add, like, this chain mail and, like, brown leather underneath the bright purple elven armor. I just don't like it. Illyria's looks a bit more practical, and it still looks elven in nature. Sylvanas and Legion kind of looks like a mismatch of trying to keep the iconic cosplay look. Still trying to make it look practical. It's still kind of bikini armor. You can't have it halfway, Blizzard. Pick one. Pick one. Don't get me started on the Shadowlands models. Here's my ranking of all the Sylvanas models real quick. Uh, let me know where you rank them. Like, listen, I, I don't care that she's a Night Elf in the first one. I don't mess with the Shadowlands ones. I start to think about the colors a little bit. And oddly enough, when you look at her Hearthstone model, she kind of has like a red cape going on. I really like the idea of her having more of a blood red look. But I finally decided on black like her original vanilla model, and red like her Hearthstone look. I know purple is kind of her more iconic color, but she's already like bluish purple. I think black and red is a nice refresh. Uh, for some reason, I thought Arthas put runes that like caused immense pain on Sylvanas' body. Uh, apparently he didn't. I mean, I can't find the source for why I think that. Uh, the closest thing I can find is that Rowan was told a story about how Sylvanas' body was mutilated. She was like tortured in a temple for a bit. Then she probably got killed. I mean, they've changed Sylvanas and how she died like 50 times already. She power slides into Frostmourne now. It's fine. The writing's fine. Sure. Anyway, this uh, tattoo design I got on the shoulder. Not only is it supposed to represent uh, Lyra, because Alira has a very similar tattoo design. I also kind of thought we could go a little Darth Vader with her redesign. Sort of like how Darth Vader's suit was purposely made to keep him angry and in pain all the time and thinking about Padme. And yes, I say it wrong on purpose. I sort of had a similar idea for Sylvanas. Sort of having these runes on her body that still cause her a bit of pain. What joy is there in this curse and all that? Uh, speaking of pain, uh, can I go back to talking about the old models real quick? How was the Wrath of the King model still the best model? Why is her face so shiny with also Night Elf markings? Why? But then she looks bad in Shadowlands too. Like, I, I don't know. Before you watch this video, did you remember exactly how her Shadowlands armor looked? Like, not just a vague recollection, just like, this is how it looks. I still think the Wrath of the Lich King model is her best model, as you can clearly tell by my redesign, because here's the finished product, and, uh, yeah. It looks super similar to the Wrath of the Lich King model. What can I say? It's hard to redesign perfection. Really, really happy with how this turned out. Always wanted Sylvanas to have a bit more red and black, keep the impractical armor, uh, make her look a bit more undead. There ain't much to redesign here. I think they got it just perfect for her Wrath of Lich King model. Taking that and just up the graphics. But not like this. Not, not, I don't like this one. I mean, it's still way better than Cataclysm Tyrande's model. And bump it up with bump it and get that salon style look. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys liked my redesign. You can vote for my next video or redesign on Patreon or just leave a suggestion in the comments. Blah, blah, blah. How do I film an outro? Uh, uh, Sylvanas did nothing wrong. Goodbye.